Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to keep your mind right here with the breath. Don't go wandering off someplace else. If you do wander someplace else, just drop whatever thought that is and you'll be right back at the breath. The breath is home base. We should be home base. We tend to leave our home base an awful lot. Because there doesn't seem to be much here. You just in, out, in, out, and you think of all the other things in your mind is suddenly out someplace else. But there's actually a lot going on inside the body, inside the mind right now. Your, your mind is shaping the intentions that shape your life. And if you're not here to watch them, who knows who's making the decisions? They get made on automatic pilot. And just like putting your car on automatic pilot and wandering off if you're driving, driving down the road, okay, it, it can't tell you that you're going to run into another car, or you're going to run off the road. You've got to pay some attention. So in the same way, you've got to pay some attention to the intentions you have, the reasons why you speak and act and think the way you do. All too often, if somebody asks you, why did you do that, you say, I don't know, I just felt like it. Well, why did you feel like it? What was the feeling? What was leading up to that? These are the things you need to know. Otherwise, you're not in control of your life, because it is your actions, your intentions that shape your life. These are the things that determine whether you're going to be suffering from the present moment or not suffering. Because you probably notice there are people who can live in fine situations, everything is perfect. These looks seem to be perfect, but they're still miserable. Other people can live in really poor situations and be happy. What's the difference? It's, the difference is what they make of their situation. And that's a skill that you want to develop so that you can be happy wherever you are, no matter what's happening, no matter where you find yourself. And to do that, you have to be right here. So we use the breath as an anchor to keep our minds in the present moment from wandering off too much. That way you can see what's going on. You can check any intentions that are coming out and see if they don't pass muster, then you can just put them aside. You don't have to act on them. That way the life you shape is going to be a much better life, a life that you're more, ha more content with. That actually goes in the direction you want it to go. So try to spend some time staying here and getting to know the breath. And that way you get to know your own mind. And as you get to know your own mind, then you get more in charge of it. That's the skill that the Buddha taught.